So a quick video today on the repair, or hopefully the repair, of my NOCO Boost GBX55. Uh, it's a booster pack that I use to um, you know, start vehicles when they're, when they're down. Um, a very handy device to have. This one I've had for maybe, I think I had it for about six months. Um, I left it plugged in to my cigarette lighter uh, to charge it. And basically what I think has happened is it's, um, the, the voltage has reduced down to a point where the internal electronics in the NOCO just won't even recognize that um, there's a battery in there to charge, so it doesn't kick in the charger to, uh, to bring it back up to level. So um, it's pretty much dead in the water, and um, I'm going to see if I can bring it back to life here. Do not take my advice as, uh, uh, from a professional, because I am not. Um, this is purely, uh, let's see if we can get it fixed, and you know, if it helps you out, great. All right. Let's get into it. So here's my booster box here from NOCO. It's basically dead. You can press the power button all you want. No lights are lighting up. Occasionally I have gotten a light to flash on, um, but then it goes completely out. And um, so I'm thinking that all I need to do is take this apart, access the battery before, um, before the BMS, so that I can apply some voltage directly to, uh, to the battery, get it up to a decent voltage level where the internal electronics will recognize it, and it'll take over charging from there, and we should be good to go. So on the box itself, you've got these rubber feet. Um, those need to get peeled off, and I have kind of pre-peeled this one, so it should come up fairly easy. And we just peel that off, and this will reveal um, some screws, one, two, three, and another three here. The six triangle shaped screws, they're triangular bit number twos, uh, which I got at Amazon. And you will notice that um, something odd about this uh, particular device is that um, I've cut the, uh, cut the leads off. And um, there is a reason for that. <laughs> Uh, basically, this, this device was warrantied by NOCO and they sent me at a new unit. Um, they said this one um, had no hope, but I, I had it sitting in my recycle bin for uh, a couple of months and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to dig in and just see if there's any way that I can get this um, to come back to life uh, instead of throwing uh, it in recycling. Um, we're going to experiment with it and have some fun. So hopefully um, we can get it running and I will be patching these up, um, making a splice in here and soldering a new connection and obviously lots of shrink wrap and uh, we'll get it uh, if we get it working. So here we go. Okay, we've got the screws out now. We're going to carefully take this apart. It doesn't have to come all the way apart, but this will just be enough to reveal the lithium battery that's inside, um, which should be basically brand new. You can see the negative cable going um, from the battery, goes down to this post down here, and then goes into the BMS and the electronics. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to attach a lead um, to the positive. The positive basically runs straight to the battery. The negative is where um, there is sort of a BMS or electronic circuit in between that we'll need to uh, bypass. And then we're just going to put just a little bit of voltage to it and we'll see what happens. So what I'm going to be using today is this RC uh, charger, uh, basically used to charge up um, model planes and model cars and that sort of thing. I've got a couple of leads attached, one with a positive and one with the negative. And the negative we're going to dig in to find uh, where that terminates um, inside. And then the positive I'm going to clip onto the end of my bare wire here. So let's, uh, let's do that first. Wish these weren't uh, broken, but you know. So I've got these relays kind of loose now. And I should be able to get out the bottom. There we go. So you see in the bottom of the relay, there's two wires, one that goes straight to the battery and one on the other side of the relay. And so we're gonna tie into the one that's, uh, that's closest. I believe that is a shunt, but I could be uh, mistaken. Um, and uh, we'll apply a little bit of voltage at very low current and we'll see if we can uh, get it charged up. So let's clip on this negative right here. There we go. And 
now on the charger, I'm going to go to um, the nickel metal hydride um, because I, I it won't be reading any settings from a, a lipo battery. Um, I'm going to put it on the lowest 0.1 amp uh, charge, and then we will uh, we will do some charging. Okay, so um, I applied some voltage on it for about an hour. Um, I, I checked it with my multimeter. Uh, a number of times I was basically getting about I think I had about four volts uh, on the battery at the beginning uh, got it up to about 11 8 or 11 9 figured that's enough um, so I'm gonna put it back together now and uh, and then we'll see if the uh, the charging will will take over and hopefully we have success <laughs> So that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. We are back in business with the NOCO and uh, full bars. Everything's working. Got my ends uh, soldered and double shrink wrap back on. And um, yeah, it lives for another day. So hope that helps somebody out there. Um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.